Thanks for joining us. I'm Michelle Edmonds. And I'm Don Nelson. Here are your top headlines with heat-related illnesses and even death affecting football players every summer. The football team at the College of Idaho found one way to beat the heat in today's thermometer-busting temperatures. Today, the team opted out of weightlifting or on-the-field workouts and instead, as you can see, hit the pool for a low-impact recovery day. The head coach over at CFI finds this type of workout to be effective on his athletes and a bonus on scorching summer days like today. The guys getting in the pool is just they like it and it's uh, and it works. It helps. So it's been fantastic. There are many benefits to water workouts, even beyond the obvious ones on hot days like today. Those benefits are magnified for athletes who participate in high impact sports outdoors. A gender gap continues to widen with the number of Idaho students who go on to college or trade schools. The State Board of Education found last year 52% of women continued their education after high school. That compares with 38% of men. Dr. Linda Clark says this is happening all across the country. Clark says there are some reasons for the gap. More men join the military, go on religious missions, or elect to work instead of going to college. But she points out college graduates earn a higher wage, and that affects the overall health of the economy. It's an issue of having uh, qualified applicants for the jobs of the future, so it's about the economy of the state. Uh, so it's very important that we, that we deal with this um, go-on rate, completion rate, um, making sure that we have folks trained for the jobs of the future. Clark says thanks to the legislature, they have been able to increase funding for scholarships, even for adults who want to complete their education. The legislature has also expanded high school counselors to try and get more students to go on after graduation. If you want to see a pretty cool light show tonight and tomorrow night, just head outside and look up. The Perseids meteor shower will be in the northwest sky overnight the next couple of nights. It happens every summer as the Earth crosses the path of the comet Swift Tuttle, causing falling stars. You can expect about one good meteor per minute. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. Second day in a row, breaking a record in Boise. Yesterday we had 106. Today we hit and show it again. It shows 108, but officially 109 was the actual high temperature in Boise. 108 in Baker City, uh, all-time record high here uh, for the city. Amazing 108 Mountain Home, 100 in Twin Falls, scorching heat. The extensive heat warning in effect for the West Central Mountains and the Treasure Valley till midnight uh, overnight tonight, and a heat advisory for midnight for the Magic Valley and eastern portions of the state. My exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today. Day. That's the weather coming up for your day. On Saturday, we're still going to be above 100 degrees. The cool air is, uh, cooler air is trying to work its way, but won't really get here until Sunday. Not on the Idaho side of the border, but in Oregon. It will start to cool down a bit during the day tomorrow. So it could be still 102 degrees uh, in the Boise area. And then possibly cooling down in the evening a little earlier. In fact, I think it will be cooling down in the evening earlier as some cooler air starts to move in. Only 92 on Sunday. We'll go down to 61 for the low temperature Monday after being 75 this morning. You can get updates on all the changing weather on my Facebook page at Scott Dorval or go to our website 6onyourside.com.